Massive volatility continues. Let's take a look at the trades on the day. Three losers and or yeah, six trades. Um, five losers and one winner in this, but overall a total net profit on the All Strategy XS1. By the way, I have some updates. I'm going to give you a preview at the end of this, so stick around for the end of this video. See the trades on the day and the updates. Uh, Cobra 3, E-mini NASDAQ, or E-mini S&P, just needed a little bit bigger stop loss here. And let's see, that made a new high over here. So we needed, we really would have needed, we got short at uh, 22.73.75, the high was 22.90.75, so we needed about 18 points, uh, so about $900, a $900 stop loss instead of $600 stop loss would have worked today, and it would have done pretty well. 22.73 would have exited at uh, 22.18, so uh, this market, you just need bigger stop losses, and so we're still looking at a long series of losers in an effort to catch a bigger winner to make up for all these losers and that's just kind of how the strategy works it's it's more extreme in this scenario where your losing streaks probably will last longer and your bigger winner could be bigger so that's the uh, that's what our anticipation is on the Cobra strategies uh, Cobra 3 e mini Nasdaq same thing except got short here at the lows a big stop loss would not have worked today so it's good that we had a tight stop loss on that uh, adaptive moving average just had some picture perfect trades. Uh, really calling the turning points has been on a good streak the last five days, five winning days in a row after taking a some pretty tough trades in here. Uh, besides this one big trade right here, this massive mega trade. And so let's look at the report for this adaptive moving average. So I'll have some strategies that I want to adjust for that I want to adjust for volatility and limit moves. I do like adaptive moving average. Um, it went through this time period right here. And this is March the 13th, and um, and then it's just really come out of that. It's really since March the 13th, adaptive moving average has been on a uh, you see about a $20,000 run uh, since March the 13th. So massive, massive run with all these trades and twisting and turning. So um, good trading on adaptive moving average. Really like that strategy. It's very different. It's very aggressive, and so it provides some diversity because the methodology is so different than anything else that we currently have. Um, and so taking a look at tick pulse v12 uh, losing trade we have a uh, modification for this and it requires the average daily ranges to be smaller and so we're going to trade a strategy like this less during this high volatility active trader 2020 and, and short only the modifications for these will be to uh, also the daily ranges have to be smaller we have a tighter stop loss and so minus 25 on these trades minus 25 on these two trades so you get uh, minus 625, minus 625, minus 625, minus 25, minus 25, and on adaptive moving average plus 47.25. So only one winner, one winning strategy on this workspace, but overall a total net profit on this workspace because of adaptive moving average. All strategy access to Action Trader 2019 minus 1925. Take pulse. Probably get a get probably get rid of this strategy in the portfolio for now. It just isn't uh, a good strategy to trade. The volatility is too high for this strategy, and so we will probably anticipation is to X that one out. You'll still have access to that, access to all the strategies, but the portfolio will look a little different with the new strategies and new modifications. 60-minute breakout, same thing. I don't like this. Don't like this setup in the portfolio right now. Take count trend in Q. I have an update for that. I'll give you a preview of that in a minute. And it's going to space the trades out a little bit more. And we're going to have a greater deviation for entry. So you're not going to have a clusters of trades. And this strategy is responsible for lots of order rejected. And just trying to get limit, trying to hit the limit order at the close. And um, you know some of these some of these trades are just too um, uh, too hard to fill in this type of market. So we have a better way to do that programmatically and systematically. It makes the strategy even better. And so. That was tick count trend. What else we have? Uh, SR counter trend two. This one's been on a roll. The SR counter trends were down overall today. So if you're looking at getting in the SR counter trend portfolio, one of our top performers lately has done really well this month. It, it was down today, so that's the cyclical nature of it. And you see just the the choppy, twisty, turning nature of this market. It closed the day session pretty much where it opened, um, and it, you know it went up overnight because of the Fed stimulus of 125 billion a day buying assets and so um, close 
was greater, slightly greater than the open today. Even though it seemed very bearish and there was a limit move down overnight, followed by a Fed stimulus rally. And this SR counter trend 2, V2, 5M and Q, plus 575. And again, we are updating the strategies and portfolios. So uh, you should be you know, cutting back in your trading as we've recommended before. Either trading this or trading less strategies such as the Cobra strategies or the SR counter trend strategies. And today in the um, conservative Conservative portfolio 25k 50k Cobra 3 e mini s p is minus 625 and so that's the only trade on that so Cobra Euro 2 minus 212.50 Cobra Euro 4 plus 450 Gold Flash old the old Gold Flash 1030 I have an update on that um, be sitting out that as well Asia Gold 4 long plus 1475 uh, the Esther counter trends you know they try to try to take the counter trend move here and Gold had one of its best trend days ever. Uh, up $76. Gold is hard to figure out. Uh, minus 825 on gold, minus 825 on silver, and Esther Counter Trend 4, same thing. Minus 825 on both of those. The Esther Counter Trends, like I said, have done well, and today was a drawdown day. So if you want to trade the Esther Counter Trend portfolio after a drawdown, uh, today it's today it took a drawdown. So uh, Cobra Gold plus 575 only trade in this chart. The other strategies did not trade in this chart. And all strategy access five, no trades on this, very selective. And let's take a look at a sneak preview of some of the updates. So here, for example, is tick count trend. It spaced the trades out a little bit more. It had three winners and one loser. And you can see there's greater deviation and the trades are further apart. It makes sure that it does not enter a trade until the, for, it has to wait 30 bars from the previous trade's exit after the first trade. So 30 bars and you don't get a cluster of trades all at once and then done for the day on six on maximum six daily trades. So adjusting for volatility, the results are actually um, better now and in history. And so this is the last seven months on that. Less trades, nice average trade profit, nice equity curve. That's S, uh, that's tick count trend uh, in Q2020. And we're, it's taken us a long time to update these because we're, we're uh, updating several at a time. And we're also updating the portfolio calculator, making sure they all work well together. So it's not just an individual update. And I have to prepare instructions and send them out to you as well. So tick pulse, no trades on the new version because the volatility filter. Same thing with AT2020. No trades on the uh, no trades recently because it's going to have a range filter. And the ranges are too big, so it stopped trading uh, back in here, uh, gold flash is uh, increases the bands. Look at the performance summary for gold flash, the new one. This is with slippage and commission. I love this strategy. It traded too much, and I have a maximum daily loss on this. So it doesn't have a maximum uh, trades per day. It just it could keep trading as long as it's winning. But once it once it stops winning, then it uh, once it goes into a certain daily loss amount, then it just stops for the day. So you can ride your winner and cut your losses and this is the um, this is the setup for gold flash 2020 and mirror 2020 and qs3 2020 those have vix and limit move filters so they don't trade on limit moves and so i'm preparing the files for everyone sending them out all at once and for the all strategy access stock index micro stock index portfolio you'll have those daily uh the daily charts here uh, these just look so sporadic this is a monthly chart uh, of the e mini S&P, uh, incredible. I saw uh, worst week since 1931 uh, recently here, and so these these charts just look so uh, sporadic. Uh, the, the the price action looks so disordered and choppy. Even Bitcoin is is down. You would think Bitcoin would be a flight to safety. Crude oil is is really uh, just surprising to see these prices in crude oil and gold. I can't figure that that one out. I thought that. Gold would move much higher during a time period like this, but it's tied to the there's there's gold ETFs, and so it, it tends to trade more like um, equities now because gold is treated a lot like a security when it's an ETF, and so stock investors will buy gold, and then uh, if they have a margin call or need to raise cash, they'll sell their gold ETFs, which will I guess will take gold gold down, and so it doesn't trade as much like a commodity as it used to because of that. So. These are my market insights, the trades on the day, and a preview of the updates that are coming out shortly.